Hey guys, this is Paul from CJC Off-Road. Today we're gonna to talk about my truck a little bit. It's an 07 3500 with a 6.7. I built this truck so that me and my family could go on vacation with our 17,000 pound toy hauler and still go out and have fun, go exploring. And when I'm in the truck by myself or with some other willing participants, go get a little bit rowdy out in the desert. It's got a mercenary off-road front bumper with a 12,000 pound winch. I've got the optional light bar that Todd produces. On that, I've got some Baja Designs Squadron XLs. I've got the XL80s and some of the racer editions for some added punch out far. I've replaced the fog light circuit with a couple of Squadron Pro ambers. Under the hood, I've got a brand, pretty much brand new. It's got about 15 to 18,000 mile Rebuilt 6.7 with DDP 90 horse injectors, a stainless diesel 465 second gen swap on it. It's tuned by Dave at Draconian Performance. It's got the five position switch. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as performance mods. I wanted to keep it simple. Um, of course, that would be 900 bench racing horsepower for you guys out there that like to compare stuff on the internet. In reality, it's probably about 450 horse. I've got a RevMax 550 with a billet input shaft. That's another important thing. Even if you guys don't have a lot of horsepower, I've broken a, I've broken a stock input with a stock motor uh, running hard in the desert uh, because of the shock loading. So you're gonna want to go with a billet input with any serious off-roading because the shock loading will snap your input. I've learned that the hard way. As far as suspension mods, I've got the Carly Unchained long arm kit under my truck, the three inch version. With, and that, ha that comes with Carly torsion sway bar, the three and a half inch Kings up front, the three inch quadruple bypasses in the rear, full, full Carly Devers in the rear as well. Uh, out back for the bumper, I have the Mercenary off-road bumper. And I've got some S2s that are flush mounted in that as well for extra lighting. I've got the Baja Designs RTL mounted on my bed rail for extra brake lights and turn signals. I've got an S2, a yellow S2 out back for a dust light. All that's being run by a Switch Pro 8100. I had a lot of switches and stuff in there and then once Switch Pro came out with that unit, I put it in my truck and it's really cleaned things up a lot. Uh, this truck, I built it so that I could have fun. You know, I owned a side-by-side -side and this truck does everything that my side-by-side -side did pretty much without having to be antiqued at the end of the day. You know, when I'm towing, I run a set of Timbrans, I pop them out in five minutes and I'm ready to party. This truck has served me well for about five or six years now. I had a, I had a different truck before this. That one had an unfortunate accident while it was parked and didn't make it out so well. I'm running 456 gears, I like them. Some people will say that it's a little too much gear, but most of my driving is off-road or towing a really heavy trailer, so it works out well for me. If I was somebody that was gonna be towing, or not towing, I should say, if I was gonna be just running high speed in some of these states where you can run 80, 85 miles an hour down the highway for hours on end, I might have went with 430s with my, with my 37s. Uh, but this gives me the option to run 40s. I have run 40s on this truck. If you guys have any other questions, please put them down in the comments. Like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, if thank you for watching.